Looks like it's redem redemption time, baby. Woo! Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new video. It's me and Eldis. And we're going to be talking about, well, not the Game Show Awards, but the Steam Awards. And for those who don't know, the Steam Awards is an award, well, it's a kind of a semi-award show that is run by, well, Steam, in which every year they allow the players to vote for and nominate for different games for different of their, uh, for different, uh, for, of their own categories. And the cool thing about this one is, unlike the Game Show Awards, this is all based on the fans' votes. Now, they're not based on games of that year, but all the games on Steam. But it's still something fun because usually the games that do get nominated for different categories are usually based on this year. They have Labor of Love, they have Best Musical Score, Game of the Year, of course, Game You Suck At, You Love That You Suck At, Games Best With Friends, just all fun little categories that are nominated and voted all based on the fans, all the gamers. It's 100% gamer base. And it's just a fun, cool thing. Nowhere near as big as the Game Awards, obviously, but something really fun and cool. And the best part is, is that goddammit, Sonic Frontiers got in a nomination, which was, it's which is cool because that means that this award that it got nominated for, very similar to Player Choice, was chosen by the fans. And the award that obviously it got nominated for was Best Music Score, which, I felt like was the award I think everyone agreed was robbed from in the game awards, at least the nomination, because the soundtrack to Sound of Frontiers is legitimately badass. So it's hearing this, um, I was just really happy because it just really, it was just, it was like a redemption, just a time of redemption for Sonic Frontiers. And if you look at the nominations, uh, well, three of the games are all Sega based, so that should tell you everything we need to know about Sega's, uh, pattern when it comes to their soundtrack. They're kind of ex, they're, they're kind of really good at it. <laughs> So, this is my video saying that I already submitted my vote, I mean I nominated it for best music score, and I also voted for it, that this is a chance for redemption. Let's get Sonic Frontiers a cool award. Like even the Sonic Twitter page, uh, the Sonic official Twitter page let out a tweet not too long ago, at the time I'm recording this, that they, uh, that it's a bit of time for redemption, that they would appreciate, you know, a little bit of a vote. So I feel like that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. So there are people that are pushing for Sonic Frontiers to at least win this one for the Steam Awards. It's just something really cool. Voting ends, I believe. I'm going to have to look this one up. I think it, it's July, uh, January 5th. It's either w uh, uh, when the voting ends. I have to look it up. Yes. And of course, unironically, just to bring it up, the games that that, have, that are nominated for Game of the Year award is, well, um, one of the competitors are, obviously, Elden Ring. And because God of War Ragnarok is PlayStation exclusive, it can't be eligible for the Steam Awards. But the first one can be, because it's on Steam. And so the first game is one of the nominations for Game of the Year award. So Elden Ring is now up against the first God of War for Game of the Year, and most likely will beat it too. So Elden Ring will actually might beat both God of Wars. Both God of Wars. So that is both funny, ironic, and I can't wait to see how that turns out. And once again, this is all based on the fans. So if it beats this one, that means the fans just really love Elden Ring. So it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I just thought I'd make a little quick little bit on this because I really, I think a lot of Sonic fans were bummed out that Sonic Frontiers not only got, you know, pretty snubbed at the Game Awards, but didn't win the one that everyone was really trying to get it to win. But, so this is a bit of a chance for Sonic Frontiers to actually get an award that I think everyone agrees it deserves. Because even though, like, it got nominated for Player's Choice, it, I think there were a lot of people that were like, it's like I don't think Sonic Frontiers deserves it, but I rather that win than the other choice, because I think many people wouldn't be as, as mad that it lost if it didn't lose the Genshin Impact. But um, 
music best music score is an award that a lot of people said it at least deserved a nomination because that is something like the soundtrack is amazing compared to a lot of games that came out this year like that's the soundtrack i remember very well i think it's gonna win i mean i said that for a player's choice but i actually really think it's gonna win but we gotta see so i'll leave a link in the description below you just gotta sign into your steam account and just vote for sonic frontiers it is very simple and very easy and uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens and with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. Yeah, it's a very short vid, but not really much more to say on it. Also, I just got a lot of things I gotta do. It's, um, we're in a winter advisory and it's Christmas Eve, so I got to, like, get, at least when I'm recording this, it's Christmas Eve and I got to get stuff done. And, of course, I just want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you guys all have a very good time with your families, friends, or just chilling at home by yourself, just all have a safe merry christmas and a happy new year's i obviously won't be doing much for uh posting much for christmas because it's christmas and i might not post for uh a day or two after that but then after the winter advisory that we have going on here comes to an end and every all the holiday cheer starts settling down we can uh i can go back to uploading but it's been an amazing year. I plan on making a longer video talking about this, uh, talking about this year uh, over review for my channel and some personal life. But just want to say I'm very thankful for all of you guys and what you guys done for this channel because this channel has become much, much bigger than I ever thought it would be in the last few months, and that in itself is a really, really cool gift to be given. So Merry Christmas, everyone! And as always, till next time. Bye-bye.